What is the role of man in walking in preservation? How do you activate the preservation power of God? Number one. What do you do? Number one. Walk in the fear of God. Walk in the fear of God. Proverbs 19.23 He said, The fear of the Lord tendeth to life, and he that has it shall abide satisfied. He shall not be visited with evil. He shall not be visited with evil. He shall not be visited with evil. Isaiah 33 verse 15 to 16 he who walks righteously and speaks uprightly, not telling lies, that despise the gain of oppression, he doesn't make money from oppressing people, that shakes his hand from holding bribes, is not a giver or a taker of bribes, that stops his ears from hearing blood, is not a wicked person, does not like bloodshed, that shuts his eyes from seeing evil. He said that man shall dwell on high. His place of defense shall be the munitions of rocks. He shall be in a place that is far beyond the reach of harm. Bread shall be given him. His waters shall be sure. Walk with a conscience that is void of offense towards God and man. Don't hurt God. Don't hurt man. You position yourself for divine preservation. For the wicked flee when no man pursues. But the righteous are bold as a lion. Proverbs 28, 1. Walk in the fear of the Lord. 